Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand, brand new, new, new Vosti to share with you all today. I hope you're very excited about it. <laughs> I know. You, I mean, do I need to tell you? I always say this. I'm like, I'm excited. Well, you know what? I am. By the way, this is the RS Chaos by Vosti. I'll have links to all the knives you see in this video down in the description in case you want to go check them out. But uh, in case you didn't know, we have a live stream every Friday night and I'm I'm not trying to ruin the box here. You never know when I'm going to give a knife away because that's something we do on the live stream every Friday night. Bees Blades, live at the hive. Oh, right. We have so much fun. We talk about knives and gear and all the new releases and we gives a give, we gives away, <laughs> we give away knives just like this and maybe like the one that's in here. This is a brand new model by Vosteed and I'm very excited <laughs> to see I can't help it. I'm, I'm enthusiastic. Would that be the word? This is the Vosteed Hedgehog. Would you look at it? I mean, just look at it and all of its G-maskousness. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that is cool. You know what? We're going to get right in here for a little bit of texture vision. That is nice. I like how they did these. Uh, I don't know. Is that vertical? So would that be horizontal. Those would be vertical lines, right? Adds a little bit of extra textureness. I like it. Now there's three different variants. There's this blue and black G Mascus, and then there's also black and green micarta. And this, oh yeah, this is the top liner lock. Look at this. <laughs> so this, I'm gonna like this. I already know, just my opinion, just based on what I've seen, what I've dealt with so far, that I'm gonna like this more than a traditional button lock because. This is a liner lock with the button feature. That is cool. And then we have a top flipper with jimping all the way around. Ooh, yeah, that's some good jimp jimps. They go all the way down. And then we'd have some big jimping up on top of this blade. And it's kind of a harpoony. Um, before we get the blade out, let's check. It is a reversible, pretty deep carry. You'll have a little bit sticking out so people could say, hey, uh, what kind of knife you got hanging there? And then it does have a lanyard hole. All right. I'm ready to get this blade out. Are you ready? Are you set? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh my goodness. That is a thing of beauty. Oh yes. Look at that blade. That is some meanness. Oh wow. I love it. And I love how it has the horizontal on the sharpened, ed sharpened edge, the primary bevel. And then on the flats, you have the ver vertical satin lines. And then, oh, in the fuller, it almost looks bead blasted or something to that effect. So you get multiple angles, and I like this angular shape. Kind of a modified high sheep's foot blade. It is a flat grind, and it, check this out. S35VN blade still, baby. And this does have a captive pivot with cage ceramic ball bearings. And this is the part I really wanted to see. Look at this. You push the button, and it depresses the top liner. And ooh, it, it's nice and solid sounding. Let's see if you can hear it. And how does it feel? Up and down, there is zero movement. Left to right, okay, so it rocks solid on the fit, and the finish is just gorgeous. Let me give you a quick look-see of this finish. Big forward choil going on right here, and then this jipping here is gonna probably add to a little bit of the grip. We'll check out the ergos here in just a second. Making sure you get to see every little bit of this bad boy. A little bit of milling on the inside of those liners. And those are recessed liners, which is very nice. Very, very nice. And let's get a quick size comparison so you can get an idea how small or big this knife is. I'll put a couple other Vosteeds up here. How about the RS Chaos? And, ooh, man, I'm loving these blades. And then, you know, one everyone knows about is the Raccoon, the Vosteed Raccoon, and the RS Chaos. And let me put a couple more up here. Here's the smaller version of the Thunderbird. Everyone loves a Thunderbird. Ooh, yeah, that's my favorite size. And you know, I, I, I grabbed a Corgi. This is the Mini Corgi, or the Corgi Pup, in case you have a Corgi Pup. And then I'll put one up here, one of my ultimate all-time favorite knives. Yeah, look at that, the Vosteed Nightshade. So there's a few size comparisons for you. From tip to tip, this bad boy is 181 millimeters long, which is 7.1 inches. And then your blade is 76 millimeters, which is 2.99 inches. Nice flat grind. And let's check out and see how much it weighs. Oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna like this action. I have a feeling this is gonna be a Vosti that moves itself up in the ranks just from feeling it so far. And you know what? I bet you we're gonna be able to use this fuller to open it. Ooh, multiple deployments. Let me see, we have one, two, 
three, four deployment methods. Oh yeah, this bad boy's coming in at 4.03 ounces. So it's right at the four ounce mark, which is el perfecto. And let's, you know what? Let's get right into it. Oh yeah, reverse flick. Okay, now can I open it with the button? A little bit of, <laughs> little bit of wrist action, let's see. Ah, there we go. And it has good blade retention. That blade is not popping out. That is huge. That is majorly huge in my book. So the button is easy for deployment. How about this flipper? Oh yeah, that flipper works really good. The jimping on it is that kind of micro jimping that grabs your skin. It's not aggressive, but you're not gonna slip off of it. And it do, it's a, what do you call that? Low profile. It doesn't stick way out. It's not really a pocket pecker and it's not going to be a push button. It's definitely going to be a light switcher. And I wonder if we can, here's your thumb. Oh yeah. The thumb studs have the perfect amount of aggression. They're very grabby. Look at this. Super snappy, super snappy. And how about reverse flick with the thumb stud? Yes. So we have all of the deployment methods. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter and holding it down here on the bottom section. Very nice. The edges are very well rounded. They're chamfered off. There's no sharp edges back here for your hand. So that is comfortable if you're, ooh, 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 look at this. This landing pad is perfect. For getting back here, like when I do push cuts, when I'm cutting open boxes, for push cuts, this thing is going to be perfect. Nothing is getting into my hand. The pocket clip's not digging into my hand. There's nothing but utterly soft roundness back here. I majorly, majorly appreciate that. And then choking up. Oh yeah, this is a good one. They put a lot of thought into this. Let's see. You can go like this, lock your middle finger into that groove right there. And you know what? That's pretty darn comfortable. I like that. And I like this tall blade so I can get in here and get a grip on it, do a little opening. I open a lot of packages and I do this number right here. So that way I don't cut through anything but the tape or whatever I'm wanting to cut through. This is, man, this is a good one. Now, opening it with the button, you do have to give it just a little bit, I would say hold it back here a little bit farther towards the butt of the knife, then it kind of gives it more of that uh, mechanical advantage. But yeah, I think it's just getting a little bit of use to. I love the, I love, oh my gosh, what, what don't I like about this knife? What is there not to like about the new Hedgehog? This thing is fantastic. I would like to see the micarta versions. I know they're they're probably going to come out with more versions, but the micarta, I love black micarta. And I think there's uh you could get there's pro oh, there's three different blade styles of this thing. You can get the satin, the stonewash blade, and a brushed bead blasted blade, depending on the variant that you get. There's three different three different handles and three different blades. So I know a lot of the super knife collectors and the and the Vosti collectors will probably end up getting two or three different models and swapping blades out because, well, that's what knife nuts do. So let me know what you think about the new Vosti Hedgehog. I I can't find a nitpick. Wow, this is this is a great knife. This is one I'm going to carry. I don't carry a lot of knives all of the time, but this one is going to be in the rotation because it's a perfect EDC everyday carry size knife. And that fuller is very easy for reverse flick and a little bit of slow roll action. I like everything about it. I have <laughs> not that you're supposed to find something wrong with the knife, but I don't I don't see anything wrong or even anything to nitpick. This is a fantastic knife. Let me know what you think about it and leave a comment and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and then go watch this video. You'll really enjoy that. And until I see you in the lives or the high streams or the chats, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.